just salt and pepper brisket? I don't know. That's what they say down at Franklin's, or at least that's what Aaron Franklin has said in many different articles. Today we're going to check out and see if that's true because I have made a ton of just salt and pepper briskets. Now, it's come out that that's not exactly true. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about and we're going to try something out to see salt and pepper or salt and pepper. First, you met it. I'm doing it all wrong. This is the way. Like I said, guys, many places have said just salt and pepper go on their briskets, but we're starting to find out that just isn't true. What kind of salt? What kind of pepper? Those are things that we need to look at, and there are differences in salt, and there's differences in pepper. Today, we're going to be doing a salt and pepper only brisket on the Old Country Pecos. We're going to be smoking it with a little bit of hickory and uh, some B&B uh, char logs as our starter. Now let's talk about the salt and pepper we're going to be using. We're going to be using white pepper and black pepper. Now the difference between those is the simple fact that white pepper is made from the same exact plant. It's just a little bit more mature when it is harvested and processed. So white pepper, black pepper, sea salt, and Lowry's seasoned salt. So there's four different ingredients, but it's just salt and pepper. We're going to be taking this trimmed up select brisket and we're going to be putting it on the old country brazos i'm sorry pecos smoker and uh, we're going to be using some hickory chunks uh, to get this thing smoked up and we're going to be using salt and pepper only but not just any salt and just any pepper we're going to be using a combination of sea salt seasoning salt black pepper and a little bit of white pepper now, I'm going to coat these uh, pretty generously. I usually do a two to one salt to pepper, uh, I'm sorry, pepper to salt ratio. So I'm going to use equal parts white pepper and black pepper. And then I'm going to use equal parts uh, salt and sea seasoning salt and sea salt, but uh, at half as much as the pepper. And I'm going to layer on uh, in such a way that I hope the uh, more coarse pepper sticks. Um, and uh, we'll see how that tastes. Now, why would I go with white pepper and black pepper? Well, white pepper and black pepper come from the same plants. They come from the same exact berries. Uh, one is just a little more ripe than the other. The white is a little more ripe, and therefore it's usually a, a little more of a tame flavor. Now, in an eight-hour cook, I don't know how those profiles will change because uh, black pepper does tend to uh, mellow out as it cooks. So I'm interested to see how this flavor profile works out. Let's go ahead and open up this white pepper. We'll get a good coat on this. We're going to do the uh, point side first. I'm sorry, the flat side first. Then we'll do the point. This white, this white pepper actually looks like uh, just tab table pepper. I don't know. I've never really cooked just with white pepper before, so... I don't really know how its flavor profile is, but I mean, it's pepper. I love pepper. Can't go wrong with it. I'm going to do a good coat of it. And then I'm going to do a good coat of our 16 mesh black pepper that I freaking love and makes an amazing bark and that great flavor, all that good stuff. Let's do a good coat. I should have taken the top off. It's always better with the top off. All right, get that all mashed in there real nice like. Okay. And uh, let's go with a little bit of this sea salt. So that's how I roll. I like sea salt. Get that all mashed in there. Get the sides. I just love the textures of uh, these coarse grinds on rubs. All right. Now let's pop, pop, pop open this Laris. And... Uh, Make it happen, Captain. Do the same thing on the other side. 
and uh, start the fire up and get this bad boy going. I'm going to be cooking uh, 275, 300 degrees somewhere in there. Um, just like we've cooked a million other briskets. All we're trying today is to see the different flavor profile. That uh, salt and pepper only, hint, hint, um, can be. I mean, there's not all peppers the same, not all salts are the same. So let's see what they're all going wild about, huh? <clears throat> I don't know if I have to be so concerned with this side or not, but uh, what the heck, why not? Put this side on in a different order, but that's okay. We're going to let this sit, really let those flavors meld together while this fire comes up to temperature. I'll bring you back when we stick it on it. All we're going to be spritzing it with is a um, little bit of water. I know some places use pickle juice um, and that really brings out a lot of flavors, uh, pretty amazing flavors, but we're just going to do a little bit of water. We're going to keep it simple, stupid. Get it on the pit, 275, 300 degrees. Follow along with us. We're going to get this cooked up and see how good it tastes. See ya. Full disclosure, guys, I have done a little bit of research on this. I have been reading about it. I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, and lately it just presented itself to be uh, a good time for it. Now, in all honesty, I have seen other videos on this, and they approach it a little differently than I do. Um, I don't want to emulate or copy Aaron Franklin's exact recipe. I just want to see if the difference in salt and the difference in seasoned salt or salt and pepper, uh, black pepper, white pepper, all those things come together to make a flavor profile difference. I know it will, I just want to see to what degree. Now, these are different things that people are using to land on the Texas Top 50 list, so why not learn about them at home? And I've seen guys like Mad Science Bar Barbecue, Harry Sue, all those guys do a version of this, but nothing like this in particular. it's the next day we've been getting after this thing for right at about 16 hours now it cooked for eight hours rested it for eight hours in a controlled uh, warmer and I can't wait to give this thing a try it sliced up very nicely it is super juicy I mean it was select I didn't expect it to be um, as juicy as it has turned out but uh, I mean you can just see it's insane Pull test, amazing. Let's see how this flavor profile is with just salt and pepper. Mm. It's incredibly beefy. That is by far the best select brisket I've ever made in my life. Wow. I don't know what to do with my life anymore. I'm doing it all wrong. This is the way. Just the salt and pepper. 
you know, white pepper, black pepper, seasoned salt, and regular salt. But just salt and pepper. That's good. Guys, I appreciate you. Give me a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me know what is your brisket secret or touch or whatever you do to set yours apart from everybody else's. This is Brisket Medic. I love you. See you later.